The articles of impeachment are out. There are two of them, two charges included in here. After all of the secret depositions, the public hearings, the parade of witnesses who testified to potentially criminal activity, this is it? Two ambiguous charges of abuse of power and obstruction of justice, or in this case, obstruction of Congress, that are normally add-on charges to much bigger crimes. What happened to quid pro quo? What happened to bribery, extortion, very serious charges that the Democratic investigators accused the president of in his phone call with the Ukrainian president? At least they meet the constitutional bar of bribery, treason, and other high crimes and misdemeanors. When a prosecutor investigates a crime but brings no charges, that simply means there's not enough evidence to support a case. And it's the same with the House Democrats. The fact that they didn't include bribery, which was their core accusation as an article of impeachment, means they just simply can't prove it. So let's look at the actual charges contained in the articles of impeachment. We'll start with abuse of power. Now, the phone call between President Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was not a perfect phone call, as the president claims. Even just bringing up the name of former Vice President Joe Biden was at its best unwise. The claim is that Trump wanted Ukraine to investigate Biden to help him in his 2020 re-election bid. And if Ukraine didn't announce that investigation, the United States would hold back $1.5 billion in foreign aid. But Ukraine got the money and never investigated Joe Biden or made such an announcement. And look, I know the argument that many of you are going to make, that Trump only released the money because the whistle had already been blown on his scheme. Okay, well, maybe the whistleblower should have waited until he actually did it. Because talking about abusing your power or thinking about abusing your power is not abuse of power. There's no such thing as attempted abuse of power. And abuse of power isn't an actual crime or misdemeanor. Now, obstruction of justice, or in this case, obstruction of Congress, same thing, is a crime. And it's the second article of impeachment because Donald Trump refused to allow members of his administration to testify, even under subpoena, claiming executive privilege. The problem is the president has the right to claim executive privilege, and if you don't agree with it, you can take him to federal court. It is difficult to claim obstruction when you have a legal remedy at your disposal that you choose not to use. That's tacit approval. Also, obstruction of justice is normally charged when there is a bigger crime that the person's being charged with. By not charging the president with extortion or bribery, by the Democrats' own admission, there is no other bigger crime, making this impeachment case the weakest in U.S. history. But it's much worse than that. It's hurting our country and our political process. It is fueled by the worst of us, by a political anger that is so deep and so ugly that right and wrong gives way to the simple goal of destroying those who don't agree with us. And with that, the country just becomes angrier and more divided. This action by the House of Representatives will change the American political process for the worse forever. It'll make simply being in the majority an excuse to make any misdeed or misstep by a president an impeachable offense. If you're looking for someone to charge with abuse of power, look no further than the U.S. House of Representatives. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi must have the votes for impeachment or she wouldn't be pushing to have the vote right before Christmas. Look for one article of impeachment to pass, abuse of power, giving moderate Democrats in Republican districts cover and the ability to vote against obstruction of justice. And then it heads to the Senate for a trial to determine if the president should be removed from office. Now, Republicans hold the majority in the Senate, so that's not going to happen. 
I'm hoping Republicans will move quickly on this trial. Dragging the trial out and calling Democrats as witnesses will only seem vindictive. Polls and ratings have showed that Americans are tiring of impeachment. So will it be a quick trial? I doubt it. When making predictions about what's going to happen in Washington, you will always be right if you just go with the worst instincts of politicians. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.